Hey guys, so today I will be showing you how to do Harry Potter character nail art. Um, you can do as many characters as you like, I've done a full set of ten. You can change that around, do whatever characters you like. Okay, so I'm starting off with some of the paler characters and for this I am using Sally Hansen's Hard as Nails in shade Sheer Vanilla because I want them to have quite a washed out pale complexion. You'll know which characters I'm doing <laughs> when I show you them and why I've done them that pale. The next skin tone I'm creating is for some of the healthier, nicer characters and that's using some of the Jelly High Shine Barry M Polish in shade Lychee. First character I'm going to start off with is going to be Harry Potter. Next I'm drawing a scar using Sally Hansen's Hard as Nails in shade Cardinal, a really bright red but you can use whatever you want. And I'm just using a cocktail stick to draw the little scar. Really easy, just swiping it from the, from the actual nail polish brush. And then I'm just using the nail pen from Barry M to add in his hair. Really, really easy. Just adding in his black hair. And then I'm just going to give him some cute little cartoony cheeks using MUA's Amaretto Crush and just using a cocktail stick to dab them on. Like massages you like, you don't need to add them if you don't like, but that's the style I'm going for. Okay, so next we have Ron and I'm just doing the same as before with the Barry M pen, just drawing in his eyes and his mouth. So for Ron's hair I'm going to use Jelly High Shine in Mango, number 329, it's a really really vibrant orange to get his ginger hair and I'm just using a cocktail stick to get on most of the polish and then using a nail art brush to paint in his hair to get it more even. And then I'm just adding freckles to his cheeks using a cocktail stick, really easy, just getting it from the brush and just dabbing it on, giving him lots and lots of freckles. Okay, so character number three is going to be Voldemort. He's going to have the very, very pale skin that I did earlier. And I'm using the Barry M pens again to create a little angry mouth, angry eyes. And then using the Sally Hansen Cardinal Red to create his evil eyes. Just adding in some evil eyebrows. And that's him done. Very easy character to do. Right, number four is Hermione Granger. Just using the Barry M pen in the same way to create facial details. So for her hair I'm using quite a bristly brush to create her hair strands. Uh, and I'm using Maybelline's Forever Strong Rosy Sand for, the, for this hair. And then again giving her some rosy cheeks. and then adding in a red headband, again using the Sally Hansen Cardinal colour. For her outline I use the Rio Professional Nail Art Pens. Uh, they're dual tipped and they're really easy to do the added detail with. And I just outlined her with the metal nib applicator. And I did the same on Ron's hair, just to really enhance their features. Next character is Hagrid, he's mostly beard and hair, so <laughs> adding in his beard, his hair and then some eyebrows. Adding in some little eyes with the Rio Professional Nail Art Pen and leaving him to dry. Draco Malfoy, he again has the very pale pasty skin, really horrible complexion and just adding in his features in black and then painting him in some greasy blonde hair. I'm using MUA's U and I polish to create his golden locks. Okay so next character up is Severus Snape, adding in his features with the black pen, it's really easy to draw with, and then creating some really greasy centre parting hair like he has. And 
and then again giving him some angry eyebrows. Alright, next is going to be Dumbledore. I have to do Dumbledore. And to do this, I'm doing his eyes, but then I'm also going to give him some half moon spectacles. And you can see with these pens how easy they are to draw with, and have to add a little bit of detail. I'm using the Revlon Nail Art Neon white paint to create his beard. It's just a very thick white. It has a very strong colour, so that's why I'm using it. And then painting him a beard and his hair all the way around. And then I'm going to leave a gap at the top to add his, add his actual wizard hat, which I did in the blue from the Revlon Nail Art. Next I'm adding in Hagrid's details, outlining him in black so that he really stands out. And doing the same with Draco Malfoy, so that his hair just doesn't blend straight in with his face. And then I'm going to be adding some extra details to Dumbledore, adding him in a moustache, showing where his beard and his hair actually separate and giving him a smile. And as you can see, he looks a lot better for a little bit more detail. So my next character is going to be Ginny Weasley and Neville Longbottom, so I'm going to paint in their hair and leave that to dry. And then I'm just using, in the same way as before, a black nail art pen to create the facial features. I then gave my characters the bottom of their face and a neck so that I could paint in the bottom of the hair, going behind the head and the neck so that they looked a bit better and I did this with Hermione, Snape and Ginny and then outlined them with black and then the last character to do is Neville who has the nerdy centre party I can outline this with the Rio nail art pen very quickly and just add it in his face Happy Chappy and gave him some rosy cheeks. And there are all my characters. I hope you like them. Thank you for watching and please subscribe and like the video. And if you have any ideas for future videos you'd like to see me do, please leave them in the comments below. Bye!